Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hello Scorpios, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as a cross watcher of the Scorpio. And we are going to be feeling out the energy for September, so this is a September reading. And if you guys are interested, this extended will be available on my website. You guys know the drill. Click below this video, the word more. It's gonna bring up all my links and you'll click on that first one, take it to my website, go to the extended readings and look for the September readings there on my website. Three of Pentacles, could be a work connection. Something here about work or somebody's building something, like literally physically building something, right? That's working on something that could be partnership, Oh, four of cups. Someone here has been self sabotaging Because this is like the holy grail coming to them, right? And they're like, no thanks. So someone here may have rejected something really beautiful in the past. They may have rejected the love of their life. This is the kind of vibe I get. The star, mm, that's Aquarius energy, the star. That is also a wish card. It's also a card of like destiny and fate and like synchronicity. But it also to me feels like it's a wish. They might be wishing to have another chance. Six of Swords, this movement, something is coming. Oh shit. Oh, reciprocity is coming for some of you. And Six of Cups, deep past life connection. That's why the bond feels even more deep. There's an extremely deep bond here between two souls. This person might work with their hands. You know, I keep feeling the energy of like working on something. They might work with their hands. Oh my God, speaking of hands, look, healer. Yeah, they might work with their hands. Someone here may be connected to the energy of healer or healing. This could be someone reaching out as well too. Nostalgic. Someone's thinking about the past. I feel like someone misses you. Thirsty for you all more than misses you, honey. There's fucking throbbing. Alchemy, there's some sort of change happening here. Uh, affection, their affection is changing. They go from being like mm, almost stubborn and pig-headed and a cold to now wanting that cup to come back because now they're very extremely interested. They want to reach out. Ah, oh, new love. Maybe they want to reach out before new love comes because that means new love is coming. Is it them or is it someone new? Whimsical. Someone here has very whimsical energy. They're, they're very like magical, kind of witchy, fantasizing. They could have dreamt of you, right? They could have fantasized about you. They could have... Mm, Scorpio energy super fucking intuitive too, yeah? They're like the human lie detectors of the Zodiac. God, my hair is so windblown. Um, they're like the, the lie detectors of the fucking Zodiac. So, I don't know. Wow, look at that. A wish again, make a wish. Shooting star, make a wish, manifest and believe. Somebody's wish is coming true. Yeah, look at them. They feel lonely. But they did that to themselves. Now they're angry with the volcano. They did, Someone here like, didn't partake or damn near rejected. And now they're in deep regret. Starry sky. Everything about making a wish. They might think of you when they look at the stars in the sky. You know what I mean? There could be something about that connection here. Starry skies or nighttime. 
Palo Santo, blessing, cleansing, and protection. This person has a very protective energy. It's very Scorpionic, actually. Scorpios are very protective. Um, they can be really angry too, right? They have a, they could, they could have a bit of a temper, but the problem is, is they keep that hidden. They don't let you know that. Mm -mm. They keep that shit very well hidden. It's under the surface, just like that volcano, until it blows. And when it blows, everybody knows, honey. But when it, you know, but they gotta get to that point. Oh Lord. Someone could be growing jealous. Wish granted. I told you it's a wish. I told you they're wishing on something. They're wishing for something. Maybe it was a wish that you made in regards to this person or vice versa. But someone's fucking wish is granted here. Prosperity and fortune. Mm. If you guys have been trying to manifest money, here it is. It's confirmation of it. Confirmation of prosperity and a lot of money coming in in the future. Because, I mean... It's, love don't pay our fucking bills honey you see what i'm saying wave of inspiration this person might feel inspired they feel inspired to do something a wave of inspiration has come over one of you let go and just be maybe that's the inspiration it's like i'm gonna let it go i'm gonna surrender i'm just gonna let it be oh i saw it twin flame person might feel like a twin flame aka twin soul you guys might be like two peas in a pod that could be the wish too wishing that they were at a better vibration so that you guys could be a match you know what i mean sorry about that i've got this ring cam literally set up against here and every little sudden movement it's goddamn bobblehead but we're gonna figure that out honey we're gonna figure that out here we go, Scorpio. Work. Something about work. Whether this is the connection that you guys have and how you've met or some kind of work connection. Business. Oh, dating. Is it that? Is it that it's like work and business and acquaintance, but really it's wanting more? For some of you, yes. But for some of you, it's the work thing is when they think about you. I don't know why. If it's because they're alone then and like they're, I don't know. It's something about work. So work connection. Home. Someone's moving. There's some kind of house connection. Something important about a home. But I feel like someone's moving. Fun times. Triangle. See, someone here chose fun over like actual like love. And now they regret it. The triangle talks about crowded relationships or choices. I feel like they made the wrong choice. They may have chosen to stay single because they wanted to still, you know, have fun and just be sort of alone or whatever. But now I feel, and Scorpios love to be alone. Oh, honey, they do. Oh, they love to be alone, but not if they're not if they've caught fucking feelings. Mm -mm. Not if they want you. That's gonna that shit's gonna get tired real quick with them. You know, because they're possessive, right? And I don't mean it in a bad way, but that's part of their characteristics of their sign. They're very fixated. They become obsessed. Look at him. <laughs> it's the four of pentacles, but you see how he's holding all of these roses to him? They're in love. They're feeling in love. Like, they wake up in love, they go to sleep in love. There's like massive romance in the air vibes here. Knight of Pentacles. They may have like done nothing about it too. They just sat with their feelings. But that's going to change. Page of Wands could be a younger fire sign. Right? But that could be also inner healing. Inner child healing. Excuse me. Page of Pentacles. 
two of you may have had to work on your inner children. Inner child healing for both. Now that could be a boy and a girl. Twins. That could be relevant somehow. Mm, see, look at them. They're in their feelings. They feel lonely. They feel sad. They feel heartbroken. They're all like staring off the horizon on their fucking feels. They chose wrong. I'm going to tell you right now. Somebody chose wrong. Whether they chose another person and they regret it. Or they chose to be single and they regret it. Someone here regrets their choice. And whatever that choice was, they fucking regret it. Ooh, Beauty and the Beast. Leo energy. Somehow you've like really tamed this person. You know, they, they feel safe with you. And for Scorpios, trust goes beyond love. Because they can love you and not trust you. And with a Scorpio, trust is everything. Trust is more important to them than love. Because they don't trust nobody. All right, he's fucking in love. Look at him. He's like, he's out of commission. Ten of swords, stick a fork in him, they're done. It's like lovesick. Someone here could be lovesick. Four of Wands, fucking union. They want union. They want to be in a committed relationship. They want to... There's something about a house, too. Again, someone could be moving. Mm, look at his ass. King of Pentacles. All sitting there salty as fuck, regretful. Someone here made the wrong choice. And it may have taken them going through an awakening to realize that with the hermit. Spiritual awakening. Self-reflection. Finding oneself, if you will. Through some sort of like reflection or transformation period of isolation, they realize they chose wrong. Now they, now they know what to do. This is exactly what they're going to do. Ace of Wands. Reach out with the intentions of starting something romantic with the intentions of it being committed and to be monogamous and to basically take you off the fucking market. That's their intention. Hierophant, yeah, committed relationship. It's Taurus energy, but that's a commitment. I mean, deep commitment too. You're talking like marriage. They wanna take you off the market. Ooh. All right, let's get into your extended. Again, should you wish to rent it, click below the word more. Click on the first link to go to my website and you're going to go to the extended readings and September readings, okay? We're going to use a sexual tarot magic deck in your extended as long as with a few others, okay? So thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I'll see you in the extended. Love you.